Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about another fat soluble vitamin, vitamin D. See vitamin D has got vast functions on bone metabolism, indirectly calcium metabolism. For calcium home homeostasis we require vitamin D. Okay. And nowadays most of the researchers considering her D as a hormone rather than a vitamin. Okay. So there are so many points which are available to prove vitamin D as a hormone rather than a vitamin okay so let us go through the details like what are the factors which are making vitamin d as a hormone rather than a vitamin so as like a hormone it will be synthesized in different parts of the body and it has got function at the different organs right and also like hormones it is also released into the circulation and it has got different functional organs okay different target organs for their function and it it's their action okay their action is similar to steroid hormones like testosterone progesterone estrogen okay the way they act same way vitamin d is also acting so all these points make vitamin more as a hormone rather than a vitamin okay so coming to in details about the vitamin d Vitamin D has got several other names like cholecalciferol, calciferol, antirastic factor, sunshine vitamin. Why it is known as antirastic factor? As it prevents rickets in children, it is known as antirastic factor. Sunshine vitamin, when we get exposed to the uh, sunlight, okay, our skin able to synthesize vitamin D. So, when we get exposed to the sun, automatically vitamin D will be synthesized. So that's why this vitamin is known as sunshine vitamin. It will be shined when you get exposed to the sunlight. So coming to the chemistry part, vitamin D is steroid in nature. That means being like lipid, like cholesterol. Cholesterol structure, what is that? Cyclopentanophenanthrin ring. So that steroid nucleus is also present in vitamin D. Okay. And there are two types of vitamin D or like two forms of vitamin D. One in plants and in animals. In plants, that is ergosterol which forms ergocalciferol okay and in animals 7 dehydrocholesterol on our skin okay 7 dehydrocholesterol is there okay so you can say literally ergosterol and 7 dehydrocholesterol uh, as a pro vitamin for vitamin d so you see the structure vitamin d okay steroid nucleus this is 1 2 3 4 and there's a polycarbon side chain okay so it is totally of 26 carbons okay and there is presence of hydroxyl groups at three places where and all first carbon so this one and at the third carbon and at the 26th carbon so totally how many hydroxyl groups are there three hydroxyl groups are there Okay, but the thing is, the active form of vitamin D is known as calcitriol. Triol means three hydroxyl groups, right? One, two, three. Three hydroxyl groups are there. It is making calcitriol. But here, originally, 70 hydrocholesterol is having hydroxyl group at third carbon. 7 dehydrocholesterol is got hydroxyl group at third carbon. Okay, and rest of the two carbons like uh, the first uh, two hydroxyl groups at first carbon and 26th carbon added later. So, we will discuss in detail the activation of vitamin D in uh, later videos. So, you see here how vitamin D is being synthesized in our bodies when 70 hydrocholesterol get exposed to the sunlight. I mean like the 70 hydrocholesterol which is present in the skin when it get exposed to the sunlight by photolysis it will be converted to secosterol and secosterol is converted to cholecalciferol. But uh, there is a reminder this cholecalciferol is not active okay it should be activated okay it should be activated in the body so there are further mechanisms we'll discuss so coming to the sources there are plant sources and uh, animal sources plant sources like uh, chickpeas mushrooms okay coming to the non vegetarian sources like fish egg cheese butter egg okay all these are the serving as sources for vitamin D and coming to RDA RDA is nothing but required daily allowance how much amount of vitamin D is supposed to be in your diet per day okay so 200 to 400 international units of vitamin D is supposed to be in your diet okay 
and it is equivalent to 5 to 10 micrograms and 1 microgram of vitamin D is equal to 40 international units. Coming to absorption and transport, being a fat soluble vitamin, the characteristics of vitamin D is similar to the lipids, digestion, absorption and storage. Okay, so dietary vitamin D is absorbed in the duodenum along with the lipids and it is transported to the liver through chylomicron. So remember all fat soluble vitamins are transported through chylomicron from intestine to liver. So now coming to activation of vitamin D. So you see here 7 dehydrocholesterol present in the skin. So when it get exposed to the sunlight, okay, the UV rays irradiates the 7 dehydrocholesterol and converts to cholecalciferol. And this cholecalciferol reaches to the liver. There is an enzyme called 25 hydroxylase. Okay. 25 hydroxylase that means we have already discussed in the structure of cholecalciferol there is a natural hydroxyl group at third carbon already existed okay and the activation of vitamin d includes addition of hydroxyl group at first carbon and the 26th car uh, sorry 25th carbon right so at the 25th carbon there is 25 alpha hydroxylase which is present in the liver this enzyme adds hydroxyl group to the 25th carbon okay and still vitamin D is not completely activated and from here this 25 hydroxyl vitamin D this is known as calcidiol. So two hydroxyl groups are there at third and 25th carbon. So third hydroxyl group supposed to be added in the first carbon. So this activation takes place in the kidney. So remember the activation of vitamin D will take place three parts. One is at the skin, one is on the liver, other one is the kidney. So, at once this calcidiol reaches to the kidney, there is an enzyme called 1-alpha hydroxylase. So, adds hydroxyl group to the first carbon of calcidiol and makes it to calcitriol. Makes it to calcitriol. So, this is the active form of vitamin D. So, 1,5-1,25 dihydroxy cholecalciferol, it's a calcitriol, 1,25 dihydroxycholecalciferol. Why? Because already hydroxyl group is there in the third carbon in the 7 dehydrocholesterol. So, need no, no, need, no need to mention here. So, this is known as calcitriol. So, that's all about the chemistry and absorption, transportation and activation of vitamin D. Thanks for listening.